Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another Margin Starcraft and today we're gonna have uh, the continuation of the story of Huck in the MLGDC and today Huck is going to go face to face with Liquid Tealer. FYI I know it's Tyler but some of you might actually get that inside joke and formerly known as Noonie or Noni and well that is it. So Liquid Tealer from the team Liquid, with uh, which is m probably best known for the little one and the team Liquid attack videos. Those are epic to watch. But we'll see if team uh, if Liquid Tyler uh, Taylor actually gives us a nice game to watch right now, because he is facing against Huck, and this is going to be a Protoss versus Protoss match, and we'll see what happens. So we have a very early scout for Hug, actually just laying down the pylon and running off, while Teeler does not do that, he's just waiting to put down his gateway and probably gonna send out the scout now, or not. I guess in a sense he's probably expecting Hug not to play cheese, not to get any two gauge shenanigans, and as we can see, that might come to fruition because Hug is not getting, is not getting the gateway. And now finally the gateway is done and an assimilator for Liquid Tyler and a gateway and the gateway is still on the way. So Tealer does have a small e economical, a small timing advantage right now on his gateway and on the assimilator. But let's check out the production tab. Well, about half and the assimilator about a quarter. But we'll see if that actually manages to to count in the long run. I'm sorry, I'm just not uh, <laughs> feeling that well and that's why I'm I'm my voice is not necessarily thinking straight. So we have a nice pylon here to spot the rocks for Huck and everything else is just pretty much standard. The probe harassment standard and nothing else. This probe harassing here. Whoa! Huck's probe doing a lot of damage actually taking life from this pylon. Yeah! Go killer probe! There is still no zealot on the way so cybernetic score getting up before uh, that, sec that first zealot which is cool because that means that uh, Liquid Tealer is feeling pretty secure about himself and doing even more damage to this uh, and now he's finally choosing to run away because he knows that probably instead of a Zealot a Stalker will come out and no probe can survive a Stalker. Meanwhile on the other side of the map we have an early Zealot instead and we have a delayed cybernetic score but pretty much it doesn't matter at the moment because despite the fact that Tealer does have a Stalker Huck has a zealot and will soon have a stalker on his own. So if, but it will be a stalker and a zealot versus two stalkers. There is a scouting probe here at the Zelnaga Tower. Now, as you can see, Teeler is checking for any kind of proxy pylons. That is not going to be the case. Not going to find any of the sorts, and we're going to continue the match further on. So this is going to be a high-level play because bl both of these. Protoss and now the scouting probe dies. The, both of these Protoss players, Huck and Teeler, are in the best of the world category. I mean, let's face it, uh, the best players in the world are in the numbers, numbers varying in the 20s. So if you actually try a little, you can probably know all the best players in the world by name. And Huck and Teeler are in that elite group. So having such a Protoss versus Protoss, and this is not even the finals of the MLG, uh, is going to prove a challenge for both players, and we'll see which one is going to be the, the one on top in this game. We have a Twilight Council for our Teeler, and another Gateway, so we're going to have a 2-Gate, 3-Gate, and a Twilight Council, while Huck is getting a, his second gate very late, a Twilight Council and a third gate, so identical builds for both these players. Income is showing identical, even though Huck has one, um, one at probe advantage, but hey, so two Zealots and two Stalkers gonna defend here, and we have four Zealots and a proxy pylon for Teeler, and the attack is gonna happen pretty soon. So four Zealots now. We'll, zealots do not have any legs, so we'll see what this happens. Tyler could try and Tyler could try and snipe off a uh, Zealot here, but chooses to 
not to and now I'm hiccuping this is great so even more stalkers going to start taking out these rocks and because of this pylon Huck is going to see the lasers and he's what is he going to do what is he going to put down he's laying down a pylon another pylon why is he laying down another pylon a dark shrine Ooh, interesting 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 so we have a dark shrine for Huck while on the other side of the map, we pretty much have nothing. What is being chrono boosted? Blink Stalkers. So we'll have Dark Templar versus Blink Stalkers. I have no idea what this pylon is actually going to be here for. Maybe to try and soak up some damage. Maybe to get warp ins. But now, very smart from Teeler coming in here and going to try and run in. Gonna, but he's going to find that there is no expansion. So there's nothing to actually take out. On the other side of the map, Blink is finally done. So Blink Stalkers are going to be a very dangerous opponent against these Zealots and Stalkers. So we'll see what happens. The Dark Shrine is finally on the way. And <laughs> did I see correctly? Did. No, 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 no. The Dark Shrine is done, and now Dark Templar are on the way, and Dark Templars are in the midst, and let's get, here are the Dark Templar warping in, warping in, warping in, and there they are, and now they're gonna start punching away at these Stalkers, and even with their blink, they can't get away because they can't shoot back, so this is very nice around for Liquid Tealer here, but we'll see if the Dark Templar managed to do enough damage. Templars, the Dark Templar is the only unit left alive, so it's one Dark Templar, the other one probably got taken out, so here are here's another one this one is going to use a scythe while this one is using a blade so permanently cloaked wisely using blink to get away from the um, dark templar and now we're going to have econ damage finally happen and another gateway for our for Huck, however, he only has two Dark Templars and a Stalker, while Huck is, while Liquid, oh, very nice, one Dark Templar was all brought into his base doing a lot of damage, and all these probes, where are all these probes going, are any mining, only two more mining, these are gonna go all in, so this is a very much all in build right now for uh, Liquid Tealer, this Dark Templar almost gonna take out that Stalker, Blink away, manages to escape, and we'll see what happens, this Dark Templar chasing away probes, probably gonna take out this one, no, so, Technically, let's look at the unit loss tab. Fairly close for both. However, however, if we look at the income, Huck is mining like crazy while Tyler is on the fritz. And we have a photon cannon here. Very nice to defend. Very smart. This photon cannon will act as a detector. Scouting these Dark Templar and shooting them up. But it's still going to be a while until it comes up. And now, whoa, force field to prevent the Dark Templar from hitting it. But he does hit it. And man, he does a lot of damage. And boom, that. And now that that cannon is done, that sadly, this can this um, Dark Templar can just run amok because there are no other type of detecting units and Liquid Tealer calls GG and that is it for game one and we'll see you guys in game number two.